Alright guys, so we're here still in South Dakota and today we're exploring the Badlands, which is basically like some rock formations that was created when South Dakota was underwater, correct? Yeah. So it's so cool. It's kind of like a mini Grand Canyon feel. If you've ever been to the Grand Canyon, then you'll know what I'm uh, talking about when you see it. So it's so cool guys just take a look and this is a national park and it's huge they have like a driving loop that you can drive around to see like the different sections you can hike out here they have tons of trails you can camp for all my camping followers so it's a great little, you know, stop to t make when you're here in South Dakota. So mm -hmm. let's see some cool rock formations. So this is kind of like walking through the Grand Canyon, you get to actually go down. They have like little pathways so you can actually walk through the formations, which is a surprise to me because I thought it was just going to be like a driving loop, but you can actually come in like the middle and it's so cool. I mean, just, I don't know. It's just so interesting because I'm from Florida, so we don't have things like this. So like even the different types of elevation, the different um, landscapes, it's just fascinating. to go out to the deep you can have a nice view right here in the front mm -hmm. still lots of cool like smaller not as deep formations here so you know it's something for everybody mm -hmm. something for everybody Okay guys, so drop in the comments below if you've ever seen anything like this other than the Grand Canyon. I don't want to hear no Grand Canyon, but this is so cool. It's definitely another thing to add to your list, guys. Just a little stop, you know, maybe take an hour out, take some lunch, stretch your legs out for a long drive cross country, wherever you're going. But yeah, it's definitely a, a place where you need to stop by. Some of you all just check it off your list. This place even has cabins for rent, so you don't even have to tent camp if you don't want. So for those of you guys who are not campers, like tent campers like me, they have cabins here that you can rent. And up here at the front, I'll show you, um, they have like a dining hall gift shop area, um, and that's the place you'll check in to rent the cabin. So it's pretty cool. I would suggest maybe coming out here for like one or two nights. This is a good place to stop over, like on your long journey, stretch your legs out, you know, sleep in a cabin, enjoy the ambiance, and then keep going on your journey. So yeah, guys, add right it here, to your You list. can see like there's tiny cabins in the back. And then there's a like dining, gift shop place, they have 
bathrooms in here. See, people getting ready to do a little camping. All right, guys, so this is a wrap for my South Dakota trip. I hope you guys had a great time. You were able to add some things to your bucket list that you never had on there before. I'm getting ready to head back to Nebraska because I got to work tomorrow, unfortunately. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload videos. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm. Show me the color when you turn me on.